Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Go to Death Mountain. Use the Book of Adora. And get this bad boy right here. <laughs> We're gonna need it. What up, y'all? It's your boy Juggle972 here, and I'm being joined by Misunderstood. How you doing? And, uh, welcome back to Triforce of the Gods. Now, we, uh, got the, uh, second maiden. Blah, no, second maiden. And now we're going into the Skull Woods. Alrighty. Now, I decided to start over here, though, because the Skull Woods, uh, it features a little bit of an overworld component, too, that you need to, well, you need to use. Not only that, it also, uh, it requires multiple entrances, too. Not only that, it also requires, uh, the master, uh, what is it, the master treasure that you need to actually go to the final part, too. So, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit convoluted, but at the same time, I gotta admit, though, this is one of the most well-made dungeons, and probably one of my least favorites at the same time. I say least favorites, though, because at the same, like I said, if it's convoluted, I, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. Not really. But, there's also something that I need to pick up here, too. We'll upgrade that a little bit later. Now, we'll just uh, go back to the woods. Um, speaking of Zelda, we we mentioned Final Fantasy VI that we went to a Final Fantasy Symphony. Yeah. Uh, we also went to a Zelda. Yes, we did. I forget what they called it. Symphony of the Goddesses. Symphony of the Goddesses, yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah, and uh, that was, uh, what, two years ago? Yeah. Uh, some, like, in January. That was in January 20... Actually, it was... Actually, it was last year, wasn't it? Was it? last year, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun, too. It was a lot of fun. We were able to bring uh, a couple we, friends of ours. Yeah, we ended up, uh, you know, buying some tickets, and then we uh, got an extra set of tickets from uh, uh, some old friends of ours, some former friends of ours and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a... It was an experience. That's all I can really say. It was one hell of an experience. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, the Skull Woods... It has an overworld component to it. Now, I'll give you an example. This right, it'll allow me to actually go to the other side uh, to get the master treasure, though, but that's going way too ahead at this point. So, all we need to do, for one, we need treasure keys. Not to mention keys to actually open the place up, too. Hang on. Yeah, we'll sit with the hookshot real quick, because the hookshot is actually something we're going to need to use. Oh, yeah. And you got these little pricks right here. Let's see. There we go. Get this going. Start off with the treasure map. Also, there's uh, some hidden walls, too. There we go. <laughs> see what I mean? Alrighty. Not to mention, there's also a uh, hand that also picks you up and takes you back to the entrance. Now, that could actually come in handy, but at the same time, whenever you're looking for something, it doesn't work out very well. Alrighty, let's see if we can go back down. That was too close. Alrighty. Hang on. Okay, we didn't get a key here, so we're gonna have to go look uh, elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, and these other holes here, too, they also take you to the other sides of the, uh, of the dungeon, too. Let's see what we can find. Alrighty. And thank God for the hook shot though, because these enemies, uh, the thing I hate about those little, uh, those little skull guys though, they just keep coming at you, man. Okay, let's see, what do we got? Nothing here. Except pain. Okay, no key here. Yes. Just flames oh. everywhere. Oh, I know, right? Fire! Alright, hang on, hang on. What's this bring me? Oh! Hmm. Compass, okay. Nice. And then, uh, that just happened. Nice! Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll say nice. We'll, we'll say that. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and then you got these little mummies here, too. Now, these mummies are durable as shit. That's all I'm gonna say. They're durable, not to mention they're also immune to the hookshot. Like, I'll show you what I mean by, uh, durable. 
They're just tough. Oh yeah, ah! and there goes that hand I was telling you about. Oh hell no! Yeah. Okay, now we got ourselves a key. Oh, bomb! Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a spider. Oh, it's a hand. It's a yeah, really wicked. I know, it's, I know it's a hand. Yeah, it's a wicked looking hand. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. It can't grab one of the. Uh... No, it can't unfortunately though. But that hand actually takes you back to where you originally came from, not <laughs> to the actual entrance. <laughs> Okay, now we've, uh, connected that together, so we're good there. Alrighty, oh! Yeah, and that keeps happening, too. Alright. <laughs> I love that sound. Get out of here. So get out of my face. Get out of here. It's like, like a spider would just kind of, like, like come, come from down and then takes you back up. Let's see. Then we got this part of the dungeon here, too. Yeah, the hand is here too. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. If only you can take away the uh, enemies. If only, right? But yeah, you gotta be. You've always, you've always gotta be moving. That's the only bad thing about this part of the dungeon, though. And it comes back a little bit. This hand comes back a little bit later on in the game too. I won't say when, but it'll be the more challenging portion of the game later on. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Hand. Cool part about this uh, part of the dungeon right here, though, it's um, it fills you up and restocks you. Yes, it does. Ah! Let's see. All right, and we're back down here. Okay. Right, let's take a look where we're at. Okay. Get rid of this guy. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, I know, right? Hang on, hang on. It's one of the hook shots here. Very nice. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I was. Uh, that's what I forgot. I really gotta keep an eye out for these uh, these cracked walls too. Okay, what do we got? Okay. Oh yeah. Creates an opening. Now, I probably shouldn't have done it, though, because I believe there's a, a key with this, where this hook shot's at. Come on. Nope. You know, I, I can take I can take some damage. It's no big deal. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, now that's opened. Now... Is that a switch? What's that? Did you uh, hit the switch or something? Or... Yeah, I hit the switch and it, it opened up a little back door for me. Here, let's get out of here real quick. This is where I fell through. Now, I'd much rather you know just do it this way, there rather than the hand. Now I gotta find another entrance uh, on the outside too, because I need to. Because the difference is though with this side, the only way to really access you know other places is to go from where you came from. Mm -hmm. So, hang on. Oh, dick. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, oh, bitch. Cool. All right. Yeah. I always try to keep these handy. Get out of here. Oh, and down he goes. Go this way. Alright, hang on. Oh, ouch. Get out of here. Yeah, those mummies are actually pretty tough. Yeah, I think like seven or eight shots. Okay. Okay, now we're back up here. Let me see if I can... If I fall down here, what do I do? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Oop. Right back to where I am. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we're back out here. We know where these uh, other uh, entrances lead, uh, lead us. Now, there's more around here that I need to look at. Now, I gotta admit, though, the overworld component to this, uh, to this dungeon, though, is pretty genius. But, you know, after a while, though, you know, I have to go, go back and forth from one place to another. It can be a little bit frustrating, though, because you could be stuck in one place. Okay, there we are. Take care of these little guys here, too. Little electric floating jellyfish-looking guys. And these mummies. Take care of them. Oh, shit! Yep, yeah, that's what happens when the hand grabs you. Right back to it. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. And he drops you! 
Oh, I know, right here. We'll just use this. I don't use a lot of magic, but this will help. And uh, this is a switch that requires a little bit of weight. That guy can go fuck off. Yep. Hang on. Come on. Wait for him to drop. Nope, nope. The one thing I hate about this guy is like it's unlimited with this guy. You know, it really is. It just keeps respawning. That's all. Three. Up. Oh, down. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Alright, perfect time. Ah, oh, shit. Perfect time, okay. Thank you. And the hand was coming down as soon as I said one. Alright, take care of this real quick. Boom. With all the magic I use, though, man, mm -hmm. it really comes in handy. And mm -hmm. there's a crack in the uh, wall, too. Oh, look hey, at that. Hey. I know exactly where we need to go now. Oh, we almost got you, too. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Now, there's a part of the wall right here that I need to open up. Let's see. I know exactly just how to backtrack from here. What do we got here? Ooh, full magic. Ah! Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get out of here. Let's make our way back. And I'm looking for one of my most favorite items in the game, too. Okay. Here, let's bring this hookshot back in. Get out of here, just get out. It's done. <laughs> I just heard that over the microphone, by the way. That was that was funny as hell. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Link ha sure has some impeccable uh, reaction time for him to fall got, and land on his feet. He's got great lung power. Yes. He ah! really does. He's got really good lung power. Oh, we'll look at that. That was too close. Hang on, let me just backtrack real quick though, because. Hang on. His reaction time, you know, is oh. You know what? That that's exactly what I needed to. And he just drops you, like like I said, just. Ugh. Okay, hang on. Like his body must be more than. I don't, I don't know what his body's made of, but whatever it is, though, he's well, he's not human, but he is elven. Oh yeah. So you know, if you have, you know, Lord, of, you know, if you uh, watch Lord of the Rings or read the Lord of the Rings, you definitely know the uh, logic in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they live longer than we do, and a broken heart can only kill them, I believe. Yeah. Okay, and the fire rod. And apparently, and apparently, they, they their legs won't break after they've fallen hundreds of feet in the. <laughs> so whatever he has eaten, all I gotta tell you right now, I want some of that. That's all I say, you know, I want some of that. Okay, let's see. Now, we've got the fire rod. I love this weapon, though, because this weapon actually helps you out. All the enemies, you know, that can respawn to, die immediately. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing about it, though. They die immediately. Alrighty. Now, I had to do some backtracking real quick. Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed to go through these uh, two left sides over here. And uh, there's also a locked door that I need to go through. Hang on. Let me uh, just kind of make my way through here. Now let me look at the map real quick. Now there's one place that we haven't hit yet, and it's up here. So, hang on. Three, two. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there's the key right there. That's what I needed. Just needed to get that key. Three, two. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, the, I got the timing of the hand so. Narrowed down so well. Hang on, let me see if I can do something real quick. Three, two, oh! You're too early. Okay. Well, I mean, I've got, got this out of the way. Alright, got that out of the way, and I believe the uh, main entrance is right here. Yes! Alright. Yep. Hang on. And Ugh. all you need is the fire rod. It looks ugly as shit, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what that looks like? It looks like the uh, Freddy fetus from Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Yeah! Ugh. Oh, you were one ugly motherfucker. Okay. Here's the front door. And we've got two floors that we can do. Well, not exactly two floors, though. Just a top floor and a bottom floor. That's about it. Oh, I know, right? Now, we've got this. Open it up. Oh, yeah, and then we've got a... Uh, yeah, this happening right here, too. Ah! Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, little fucker got me. Alright, let's see. Make our way through here. Yeah, this could be, uh... This could be trouble. Ah! Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can do this way. Damn it. Three, two... Yep. Alrighty. Yeah, I gotta be really, really, really tactful and very careful. Don't try to rush it. Seriously? Oh. Ah! Yeah, that was too close. See, I wish he would actually fall through the, um... Oh, if only, right? Yeah, okay. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Okay, that's... that is... that... oh. No, I mean, Go through. Well, you almost got your wish. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Now we gotta light the fly light the flames here. Burn these out. We will do it. I've set you on fire. I will set you on fire, mummy. Thanks for the magic too. Okay. Oh yeah. Just what I needed. I love a good puzzle. Okay, hang on. Freeze these guys out of the way. Just as that guy was coming down, huh? Oh, yeah. Now, if I understand... If I, uh... Yeah. There's a door hidden behind these little grass here. But yeah, there it is. Alrighty. Get rid of these guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be consuming a lot of magic yeah. throughout this part, though. And it freezes them. Alrighty, hang on, let me see if that I can That giant ass hand is stalking you. Oh yeah. It wants bad touch, that's what it wants. And uh the and the uh, dungeon boss is down here. Mm -hmm. Mothula. Now this will be easy though because Mothula is weak against fire. But we're gonna go in fully loaded. There we go. Ah. Here we go. This boss is not hard. What the hell is that? It's a moth. Oh, yeah. it is when you can see a moth. Oh, yeah. we can get fire. All, all insects in general. Did you, don't you play Pokemon? Yes. <laughs> we can get fire. I had a Butterfree and I had a Beedrill too. Mm -hmm. And, oh yeah. yeah. Fry the moth. And a Spinarak. And, well, Spinarak is a spider though. Yeah, I know. It's an arachnid. Still weak against. Kill him with fire! Yeah. I don't like spiders. Yeah. I, I do, though, you know, it just depends on what kind of spiders you have. If it's a brown recluse, though, kill it with fire. I like tarantulas, too. There's actually one tarantula that I do like. It's a blue tarantula. The blue tarantula? Yeah, it's, there's a blue tarantula. Interesting. There are blue tarantulas, and it's actually really pretty. Yeah, I remember you showing me that. We saw that on Nat Geo a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's telling me, you know, how, you know, she's very thankful she's been rescued. Don't quote me on the entire thing, though, but I'm just remembering from the American version. Ty, um, I should, I swear to God, I thought I read Ty Kicker. Ty Kicker. <laughs> You've been watching way too much Gaki Nusai. Yeah, Nusai, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it for the, this episode. And in the next episode, we go southeast and into the Ice Palace. Much love and uh, peace! <laughs>